Hello, welcome to the Virtual Rand Table Conference. This is the 27th of April 2014 and we are looking forward for a very interesting presentation from Spain. Before we start, I may point out that this meeting is being recorded. If you consent to this, please type yes in the text chat. If you don't, then you can always watch the recording later on. I want to present to you Maria Jesus Garcia de Martin. She is working as a teacher training for online courses at the Ministry of Education in Madrid, Spain and teaching the master's degree of the use of ICT and digital resources in primary bilingual education at Universidad de Rey Juan Carlos. She is author of the blog entitled Stop and Learn English, has managed various well-known other blogs and podcasts. She has coordinated the project for developing of multimedia material in English, French, and Spanish. And she has been awarded for Best Teaching Blog in 2000 2012, Best Teacher Trainer of the Month in, two, in May 2012, and the magazine Educate, Education 3.0 has recently appointed her best ICT teaching user. She will be presenting together with a few students of her master course, who she will introduce herself. So please, Maria, would you start? Thank you very much for such a nice presentation, Angelica. So long my name. Maria is fine. It, that's okay. Um, we haven't got a lot of time, so I'm going to be very quick because I'd like my students who are the real main characters here to explain their e-projects. Um, as the title says, this is um, an experience run at the University uh, Rey Juan Carlos in Madrid to challenge future e-primary teachers to um, be, become ICT uh, teachers. And my uh, aim when I arrived there in uh, February, the beginning of February, uh, I had this three-month uh, challenge to um, approach a uh, uh, problem-based learning to their uh, future teaching practice. So what I did was I presented them with eight uh, challenges. You have the full challenges in our blog that you can uh, have a look at later on if you like. Um, what we did was uh, split up into eight teams three, four people teams. Um, some of the speakers for those teams are here today and they are going to explain the outcomes they've been able to uh, craft after three months working this way. Uh, the goals um, were to uh, introduce digital resources into their future teaching practice, to make them aware of the importance of digital literacy, the importance of uh, connecting with other teachers, and also um, by being uh, enabling them to craft uh, primary assignments for real primary teachers. So very quickly, we are going to start um, presenting their outcomes now in terms, in terms, okay? Um, first, we're going to start with um, Laura, whose uh, team has created this Heal the World with the Stories E project. So Laura, I think you've got, um, your microphone is open now. Uh, if you start your webcam and uh, you are ready to go. So, hi everyone. The authors of this e project, which is called Heal the World with Stories, are Maria, Alvaro, and me. I can start this speech saying that almost any of us had worked before with new technologies. Thus, thanks to our teacher, we were able to explore, design, and create 
steals Creative Commons licenses, a movie trailer, or even participate in a virtual roundtable like this. As you can see, uh, well, we chose we chose a blogger blogger to create our e-project. First of all, we welcome everyone who wants to visit our blog, and we provide it with a suitable uh, logo which tries to sum up the main purpose, which is develop a service, provide useful tools and resources, resources not only to entertain, but also to educate and teach content. This logo is provided with a QR code which takes you to the blog page. Uh, at the top of the blog, you can see uh, you can find three pages. Uh, the first one shows you a brief introduction of us, in which we use different resources to create them. Uh, the second one uh, consists of a web mix made up of a bunch of resources too, uh, that we think uh, they are very useful. And the last one uh, cleans up the basis of our project through a mind map. And because of that, we have this time some activities to encourage uh, children to read in our bookshelf, to tell their own stories using an original tool or ending one, uh, to learn content through a traditional tale, uh, and finally to use a story, uh, story maps to record their own stories. To improve this aspect, we could have chosen other creativity tools which uh, were not repeated. For example, we used uh, podcasts twice and also um, the video that I recorded to tell a story, uh, an origami uh, story. Uh, we also think that it could be interesting to provide a, spe a special uh, place in our blog to design um, uh, in order for children to share uh, with us their, their stories. And despite the previous difficulties we found learning how to use uh, these new technologies, uh, we are very proud of our results because we got our goals and we have uh, also learned a lot. So to sum up, I think um, uh, all of the members of this team uh, are very proud of our uh, results and we want to thank you uh, to, to teach uh, this way and well, thank you very much. You are very welcome, Laura. Um, I, I uh, for any of you in the chat room who uh, have actually not uh, had a look yet to, their, to this e-project, I do recommend you to um, uh, visit and surf around it because uh, there are lots of activities that if you are a primary teacher and you teach in English, uh, they can actually be tested in the classroom and um, I think your students are going to have fun with it. Now, the um, next project that uh, uh, we are going to present is uh, Breaking Science. Uh, Anna is uh, here with us to um, present uh, this project. Uh, science taught in English project. There are some teachers already in Spain who are testing these assignments, so um, I think it's worth uh, you listen to Anna now. Welcome, Anna. Hello, everybody. To start with, we have to say that um, our group is called Breaking the Science, and uh, we are uh, Mario, Maria, and me. Uh, this project um, is concerning to the science subject and it combines uh, English and science taught by um, through the English language. Uh, in order to accomplish our outcome, the teacher gave us different talents we have to do during the weeks of the course. One of them were related to, to us as a future primary bilingual teacher and others were with the aim of the developing our ICT skills by combining, as I said before, English and science. Some examples of the of the things we have we have did uh, we did uh, are similar activity, 
we create a mind pop, mind pop, a web mix. We create a, a logo for our e project. We record some podcast. And of course, we create um, and edit some video. The idea of this activity was uh, mainly to improve our skill as ICT teacher. Talking about our e project, we have to say that we have a Twitter, uh, a YouTube and Facebook, uh, as well as uh, SoundCloud account, and of course, um, our blog. Uh, first of all, you, the YouTube channel, we love to use uh, YouTube because we think that it's very motivating for the children to uh, see what is going on just um, in watching a video. We use um, this, um, this tool because we want to, to, to present the um, different experiments, such as a baking soil experiment, a density experiment, and so on. Uh, we got um, as well uh, um, a Facebook and, and a Twitter profile. We use the Facebook account to share information quickly and easier. And we got uh, the Twitter because uh, all the news um, which are happening just uh, posting on the Twitter and everybody knows. Uh, of course, the blog. In the blog, um, we are posting all the news related to the project. We think that the blog is the key point of the e project because uh, we post everything we do um, and even more. For example, activities according to the project, podcasts, videos, interesting links, interesting activities, and so on. If you visit your, our blog, you will find um, also some information for students, um, for the schools of, of, of Spain. About videos, um, we we make uh, different videos. The first uh, was about the kids' experiment, where we explained uh, the experiment and we asked asked some questions related to um, to the to the result. We follow in any in any experiment the scientific uh, method and. Um, establishing um, an hypothesis and a, and a method as well. So um, the second the second video was a teacher about the following experiment, which is called the density experiment. And we think that it, is, it was really motivating for, for the students. In the blog, you could find as well information which is provided not only for the students, but also for the teacher who wants to use the to use them. For example, in our lab activity, proposal apps and tools for primary students, teachers can find ideas about science lessons with the tools we use and we consider that are important and useful for them. Uh, to sum up, I will say that uh, our e project is a good way to, of learning about ICT. At the same time, um, at the same time, we provide to tools, to provide tools and, and apps to those uh, teachers we are not really on the on the same we are they, they like really really much basic subject. And as, uh, I would like to say as well that um, this e project was a uh, funny, motivating, challenging because we learn how to teach really because it's the it's, it's the, um, the common thing is saying that just just uh, teaching a concept um, and that's all. But the, the I think the more the main advantage of the, doing this kind of thing, this this kind of e project in the in the master degree is that you learn how to treat, teach not only um, ICT skills but as well. Um, English subject. So um, thank you for the attention, and I hope to like my intervention and my explanation about my, my project. And thank you for, for everything. Okay, Anna. Thank you very much. Uh, now we it's going to be the turn for Jorge, who is going to present uh, arts and music in jars. So Jorge, please uh, go ahead. Uh, well, our group consists of Alberto Torrejón, 
Andrea Rubio, Eva Mateo, Patricia Gutiérrez, Pablo Regalón, a mí, Jorge Calle, a Nene Inchar of presenting our project to you. I'm going to explain, explain briefly what our project consists of. The first thing that we did was to create a group so that we could work together. And then, after investigating Creative Commons licenses, what we did was to create a mind map with the contents, activities, and objectives of our e-project called Art and Music in Jazz. So, the goals of our e-project were to make Art and Music accessible to students through different tutorials, to bring Art and Music to our students, to help others improve their interactive skills, and to explain how to, how to use different digital tools. So once we knew what the goals of our project were, we started to look for different resources, such as video, audio, image, or tools that we, can, that we could use in our project. But we needed a place where we could upload all these resources, so we made a blog called Art and Music in Jazz. Subsequently, we created a logo for our e project and we started to upload all these interactive tools and that we already have. But we didn't stop there. This was just the beginning. We continue our e project by creating a web miss. That is a, an application to organize useful resources. We use a tool called Simbalu. After that, we create a movie trailer of our project to show to the world visually how, how our e-project was. Uh, we already have the a mind map of our e-project. We have the goals of our e-project. We have some resources, web misses, a blog, and now a trailer. So it was time to start making tutorials so about different things, about different tools that we consider useful for our followers to improve their art and music skills while using ICT. So we are starting by making podcasts of, of, for each uh, different tool that we choose. Uh, the tools that we choose were Pixel Aromatic, Psycho Paint, Google Drive, Audacity, and the last one is Ketason. After making this podcast, what we did was to make a tutorial for each of these tools. And furthermore, we added three more tools that were uh, Pencil Madness, M Music Sage, and Incredibles. So the idea behind our tutorial was to show our students how they could use these tools. Now I'm going to uh, analyze briefly the learning evolution uh, from our uh, starting point to the to at the end. The truth is that uh, we have all improved our digital skills a lot. For example, when I arrived to Maria Jesus's ICT class for the first time and she told us what she wanted us to do, the first thing that I thought uh, it was that it would be impossible to accomplish so much in so little time. Before that day, my relationship with new technologies involved simply using Facebook uh, and looking for information on the net. And what she was presenting us with was far away from my capacities in this area. The truth is that I've never been good at ICT and I've never enjoyed ICT and I still have a long way to go. I couldn't have done all of this without the support of my colleagues and especially without the support of our, our, of our teacher. Uh, she explained its activity very clearly. She provided us with many tools that we, could, that we can use or we could use. And uh, she used very clear examples to make us understand uh, what we were supposed to do in each activity. Uh, our teacher assessed each of the assignments that we did. And we have a specific part within our class block where we can save and submit the assignment in order to be graded. I think that the vast majority of the assignments have been excellent, but not because of the fact that we are excellent students, but because she is an excellent teacher that scaffolds the contents in order to make us understand what we have to do. To sum up, I would like to say that the subject, in my opinion, has been a success, and proof of that is what, what, what 
we are doing today by showing our project in our conference. Thank you. Um, you, you are most um, welcome. Don't think that you are getting extra points because of uh, soaping me so much, Jorge, now. Anyway, thank you very much. It's been, uh, it's been a, my pleasure, actually. Now we're going to um, have Eva, who is presenting uh, Platero in handy, and she will explain why. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Eva, and my group consists of uh, Sylvia, Lady, and I. When my group began this project, it was a challenge for us, and we didn't think that we were able to create such an wonderful project. Uh, everything began when our teacher challenged us to create a project taking into account the anniversary of the Greco and Platonamite. We thought it could be a good idea to join both, both teams. And when we started our project, there was already a group of teachers working in it, but in Spanish. So we decided to do it in English. A good point began when we had to create a creative conferences for our project. And once we created it, uh, we searched for resources to explore different tools, apps, and then we created our Wix. Uh, you can see our Wix in later workbook. Music. Uh, in this book, we have different sections all about us, e project, the sources, and contact. And we also have a Twitter account. And once we created the list and we have the layout, and we created also a layout using Orasma, a wonderful tool that you can work with. And in our list, there is also a section called resources in which you can find it. And you can also work with it. Uh, after dealing with the number, we went directly to create our activities. Um, we set a number of goals we wanted to our students to achieve. Uh, for example, using our sound music uh, to express feelings um, by doing, for example, a comic or dealing with the meeting of Ramon Jimenez and the Greco. And we also wanted our students to motivate learning with puzzles, the use of bookies, and check also uh, prior knowledge with these types of activities. And we also wanted to provide a good teamwork atmosphere in which every student can participate. So, if you want to see our activities, just go to your inquiry section in our weeks. Uh, from my own point of view, our inquiry is attractive for children since it has activities and is not in a traditional way and our activities we think are interesting, very visual and charging for our students. Um, we are glad because some students from Granada have collaborated with us and it was easier when creating the activities. We as teachers have learned a lot with this project. We have also learned uh, many tools and resources that are incredible and give us uh, the opportunity to work with ICT in the classroom. Uh, to finish with this overview of our e project, we are very happy. Uh, we wouldn't change anything because we have learned uh, how to use many different tools. Uh, and moreover, we Eva, are also uh, Sorry? I interrupt yes? you a moment because we barely hear you because you're too loud and you're very scratchy. We barely understand you. Can you perhaps reduce your volume? Thank you. We love to hear you. So, to finish with this overview of our project, uh, we are very happy and we wouldn't change anything because we have learned a lot how to use many different tools. And more, moreover, we are also delighted with the results we make and with the collaboration with many students and teachers from Spain. Uh, if anybody wants to know more things about uh, the e project, go to our site. And okay, thanks Aban for your attention, and it's been a pleasure to take part in this video conference. Thank you. You welcome, uh, Eva. Thank you very much. Uh, now we are going to um, Billy's turn here. Billy is going to present us Book Me Library. Whenever you like, Billy. Thank you. Um, as Dr. Garcia said, my name is Billy Ramos, and uh, 
I'm speaking on behalf of the blog Book Me Library. Uh, we've we've lost you now. We've lost the sound, Billy. I'm going to stop you and uh, give you voice again. Um, sorry, Billy. Sorry, but uh, we can't hear you at the moment. So um, we are going to uh, switch on the turn into uh, ICT for reading and writing promotion. Pablo, if you are ready, so Billy, you can go out and come in again, maybe. Pablo, are you ready there? Please, whenever you are ready. Uh, okay. Well, I am uh, Pablo, and I work uh, in a new project with Emily and uh, Anuya Gonzalez. Uh, we decided to uh, to carry out our project based on uh, reading and um, writing promotion because uh, well as uh, as all of us know uh, uh, reading and writing are um, uh, are really important skills that we have to develop as uh, teachers and also obviously in EFL cl uh, classes. The first thing we did uh, was uh, uh, writing uh, the first thing and more difficult difficult thing for us was establishing our objectives, ideas, so we had to meet uh, uh, one uh, one evening and, uh, and decide uh, to create write a mind map, which is in our blog at the at the beginning, and we set up there uh, the, all of all of our aims and also the activities we wanted to do. Then we decided <coughs> some uh, some stories we could work on, and we decided to uh, to choose uh, two stories from uh, from China because one of our mates. Uh, Emily comes from China, and I think it's really important uh, to develop cultural awareness in our students. Uh, we selected some um, some resources uh, which can be found online, and uh, we decided to use always Creative Commons uh, resources, um, and then. Uh, we we decided to create a blog where we started to post uh, our mind map, the all the things we had, um, and so on. For me, especially for me, maybe the most the most meaningful activity we did uh, was uh, starting with um, starting working with SoundCloud and our podcast because we decided to. Uh, we decided to invent our own stories and share these stories with the world. Uh, we we use Outer City to put a background music to to make the story more attractive. And we and I say this activity is really was was really meaningful because after it, a teacher from uh, from Valencia, his name is Javier Ramos. Uh, decided to uh, to follow our blog and use our stories to work in with his classroom. And well, okay, Pablo is gone now, so we are going to move on to uh, Cristina, who is waiting there already, and she is going to tell us about arts and music around the world. Please go ahead, Cristina. So, good afternoon. My name is Cristina and I am going to talk about the project called Arts and Music Around the World, which has been created by Pablo, Concha, Elena and me. We have designed this project with one main objective, to use ICT to bring music and art from different countries of the five continents to school, with the purpose of creating an intercultural atmosphere and showing pupils that there are different ways of understanding music and art, depending on the culture in question. The project would be developed during five days, and each day we would work on one of the countries we have chosen, which are Brazil, Italy, China, Egypt, and New Zealand. One of the most important things we did at the beginning of this ICT adventure was to create a blog that has been the showcase of our e-project for these three months. The material of the blog is under a Creative Commons license. Taking into account licenses is very important when using resources from the internet, 
and it is an aspect that, generally speaking, we didn't use to bear in mind before this course. Then we have created a logo for the project, as well as a web mix to compile interesting resources to find pictures, music, games, and so on. After that, we have recorded a trailer to present our project in an attractive way, and we have also participated in a radio interview with one of our classmates from the journalists team to talk about our project. The next step has been to design different activities. Firstly, a presentation to show pupils some curious facts and representative pictures of each country. Then some digital activities such as online puzzles and crosswords and also different tutorials to explain how to make a sculpture like an Italian artist, how to write using hieroglyphs like people in ancient Egypt did, or how to dance samba like in Brazil or haku like in New Zealand. All these resources have been created using different tools, such as Prezi, Camtasia, SoundCloud, Simbalu, and many more. Well, this is just a brief summary of our e-project, so for, for full information, just visit our blog, which is Arts and Music Around the World, docblogspot.com, where we have posted all the resources we have created for the project. To finish, I would like to say that the development of this project has been an amazing experience in which we have enjoyed a lot and we have also learned a lot. We have created a project that, in our opinion, shows a clear evolution in our ICT knowledge and management. Because we began using, using sorry, some basic tools and now we know how to use many innovative and interesting tools that will be very useful when working as teachers in the near future. So, besides, we are now aware of the importance of taking advantage of ICT tools to connect our projects with other teachers' projects and learn from the, the experience. So, I think that this is all about my project. Yes, thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cristina. Very nice. Um, now, we've got Alba on the screen. Alba is just improvising it here. She's had uh, had to come in last minute because there was another peer uh, that has not been able to attend. She is going to present open voices for you. Hello, welcome. Uh, our project is about open voices. Uh, we have started uh, with this project in the ICT classroom. And it's about how to make our children, our students, um, journalists and reporters so we decided this title uh, with the logo because um, we thought about how to make them to open their voice and share with the world what they want them to, to teach and to, to know um, about their experiences, about uh, what they have learned in the classroom. Okay, we started with uh, our project um, making a mind map uh, about uh, what we, we think and what would we want to, to them to, to learn. So first of all, we, we made our blog, and it's a um, speak of your voice. And we posted there all our resources we, we are going to use with them. And the beginning, uh, we started with the newspaper, um, how to, to teach them to, to, to write and the headlines and the titles, and to, to make them see and how to share with the world. Uh, maybe um, one project or one activity they are doing in the classroom or they are doing outside with their classmates or whatever they wanted. And then um, we, we look for and search it about magazines, all about media, um, blogs and videos and YouTube, uh, how to make their own videos and we did this so we know how to teach them. Um, we made also an interview and um, the steps they have to follow to, to, to make an interview, how to make interviews and how to, to be interviewed. All the questions had to do, uh, yes and no question, open and close questions. And it was really interesting and we, we thought they, they would be very interesting and useful for them how to, to interview someone and they can do together in the classroom. Um, then we we started with the collaborative project. So they will find some resources to be very good reporters, how to search on internet, um, how to investigate, know about the war and what is around us. Um, 
and then uh, we we finally um, sum up the project with um, a blog about they had to put all the things they have learned. So at the end, they will realize what they have learned and how to do it because they, they had to to experience with all these tools and resources that we are going to give them. So I think it's, it's, it's all. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy. Thank you, Alba. Thank you very much for this last minute of stepping in. Thank you. Now, finally, we are going back to Book Me Library and Billy. Let's see if we can hear you now. Can you hear me? Oh, perfect. So it's your turn for Book Me Library, Billy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I don't know what part I stopped at, but <clears throat> as I said, um, it was a collaborative project between four uh, individuals. Uh, we had an amazing time working on this project. Um, the great thing is that Jacob, John, and myself, we work in schools, so we were able to use uh, the things we created uh, in the classroom, which is what the, um, the idea behind these e-projects are, that we want to make sure that, uh, <clears throat> that we are able to share them. Uh, not only within our class, within within our classes, uh, but with the uh, within uh, with the world. Excuse me. So we're very happy with what we've done. Um, it's a continuing project, so we will continue to work on it. Hopefully, um, we're still gonna work. We still have a couple of more books that we want to work with as well. And um, as I said, we had. Uh, I don't know if you guys got this, but we use storybird.com. Um, uh, we also use Story Jumper, uh, Zooburst, which was it's a 3D augmented reality uh, page, and uh, we use SoundCloud. On a side note, I used five of my kids to do a recording for SoundCloud, uh, which we, um, which uh, I recorded and then I load up to SoundCloud, and they're my first graders uh, reading phonetic books, which we use uh, in the classroom as well. And uh, the kids went wow when they when they heard themselves. Um, online. So um, again, I want to personally thank Dr. Garcia and uh, my um, my uh, co uh, classmates uh, for all your support. Okay, so uh, thank you, and hopefully you enjoy and share uh, everyone's blog in your classroom. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much, Billy. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I know we have gone far beyond our time, so thank you very much, uh, Heike and Angelica and all the organizers. The goals, we are not going to go through them. You've got them there. I will provide the presentation as well as the step-by-step -step procedure. So thanks a bunch for your attention. We all hope you have enjoyed our presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria, and thank you all those presenters who have done a really amazing job. I've just clicked through the, the blogs in the meantime, and it's really wonderful material. And hopefully, this is not only used within Spain, but also outside of Spain. <laughs> and you did uh, the first step in providing this in this uh, international conference. Thank you very much. You're uh, very welcome. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, it's really amazing. Thank you very much. We are now having a short break until 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. <laughs>